Okay, we've already looked at some of the sample files that QuickBooks has. We now need to talk about how do you actually go through and set up your new QuickBooks online account. All we're going to do is navigate to where we looked at the different online subscriptions over in Module 1. And then we'll go ahead and decide which of those subscriptions we'd like to sign up with, or we can sign up with a 30-day free trial. Let me go ahead and flip over, and we will sign up for that 30-day free trial to show you how this works. As you can see, I've navigated back to quickbooks.intuit.com. I think I'll take advantage of the free 30-day trial. I'm going to use this link right here. If you see a pop-up that asks you if you'd like to sign up with the 30-day free trial, you can use that option as well. What I'm going to have to do here is create an Intuit account, and I can do this a couple of different ways. I can actually sign up with Google, and if I have multiple Intuit products, then I can go ahead and use that one login for all of them. I might also choose to use an email address and sign up that way. I think I'll go ahead and do that and use one that I just set up for this and it's got my name here. Also it asks you to plug in your mobile number. That's recommended but you don't have to and the reason that you may want to go ahead and do that is if you happen to forget your username or your login information and Intuit can help you recover that information by looking at your telephone number that you've plugged in. You will want to create a password and make sure it's something that you're going to remember but hard enough that someone else can't actually try to get into your account. Remember a good password anywhere in your computer will have at least 8 to 12 characters. You're going to have a combination of capital letters, small letters, you might have special characters. I'm going to go ahead and choose a sign up with email once I'm done and this is going to create my Intuit account. I do get the option to skip the trial and go ahead and purchase my subscription, but I think I'll go ahead and continue with the trial for now. What's going to happen now is it's going to start setting up what we call our company file. Each file in QuickBooks is called a company. You can have as many companies as you like in QuickBooks. This is going to launch us through what's called the Easy Step Interview, where it's going to ask us some questions, and based on how we answer those questions, it will set up all the options in our company file for us. First, we'll see some basic information. It wants to know what is the name of your business. I'm going to call mine ABC Services. And then the next thing it will ask us is to describe the type of business you do. Now, if you start typing in things like plumbing, electrical, things like that, then it's going to start pulling from a drop-down list and looking for those first few characters there. And if you see something close to what you do on the list, just choose it. There's no wrong answer here. Just choose something close to what you do. I'm going to pick, for example, services, and you'll notice that there are several types of services that it thinks I may want to choose from. I'll just pick professional services in this case. Another thing that you have an option to do is if you've been using the desktop version of QuickBooks and you'd like to bring that data into your online version, you have the ability to do that. You can check this box and then it will take you into your computer so you can find that file. We are going to talk over in Section 3 about how to prepare that desktop file so that you can pull it into your QuickBooks online file. I'm going to leave it unchecked for now and click Next. The next thing it wants to know is what would you like to do in QuickBooks? And you might want to do a lot of these different things. You might want to send and track invoices, organize your expenses, manage your inventory. If you have retail sales, you'll want to choose this. If you don't, you may want to leave that alone. Maybe track your bills, track your sales tax, pay your employees, and track your hours. So you can see that you can choose a few of these or all of these. I'm going to click next at the bottom and now it says what is your role at the business? Are you an owner? Are you the bookkeeper? Maybe the employee? Usually the owner of the company is the one that sets up the file or it could have been that the accountant set it up for the owner. Whichever person set it up is actually going to be the admin or the administrator of the file meaning that you'll actually own it. I'm going to go ahead and choose owner in this case. And if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see that it says, do you have an accountant or a bookkeeper right now? And you don't have to say yes, even if you do have one. It's just asking you this because it's going to 
set up some of the options as we go down the road for the accountant if you happen to have one. I'm going to say right now that I'm just going to do it all by myself and I'm going to say all set at the bottom. And now what you have is a basic setup for your QuickBooks company file. There's still a lot we have to do because it's really a blank company file right now, but at least we have the file set up so that we can work on it. If you wanted to go through a 30 second tour to help you get down to business on QuickBooks, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And then that is what it looks like when you first log in. You are on what's called the dashboard right now. And a dashboard is just a quick way to see an overview of how different areas of your company happen to be doing. Now I do want to take time and go through this whole what we call user interface here. I want to do that over in section four. So right now, let me show you how to log out and then where to go to log back in. If you notice in the top right hand corner of your screen, you have a gear icon and you can use the sign out option right here and that will go ahead and take you back to the screen. Now let me navigate away from this and then we will come back and you will see how to log back in. So I'm at Google now and when you're ready to log in you want to go to quickbooks.intuit.com which is where we were earlier when we first created our account and this time you want to go over here where it says sign in. Notice that you'll sign up with the particular one that you actually subscribe to. If you haven't subscribed and you're still using that 30 day free trial just use the QuickBooks online option which is the first one and then that'll take you back in and you'll be able to log in right over here. And that's all you need to know right now as far as setting up your company file. Well, let's go ahead now and talk real quick over in section three about how to actually go ahead and upload your QuickBooks desktop file if you wanted to bring it into your online account. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free QuickBooks Online Essential Keyboard Shortcuts infographic, click over there. And click over there to watch more QuickBooks videos from Simon Says It.